hip-hop to history, maths to memory. We start with four, but in the end, there can be only one. What's happening? It's Tyler Nathan Wong. Our contestants look ready, and so am I. But the big question is, are you ready? Let's go! Then nā koe, Tyler. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject round where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet our players now. First up, it's future NBA Hall of Famer, Eli joining us. A keen basketball player, Eli. Yeah. What is it you love about basketball, my friend? Uh, it's just when I'm playing really, really well, it's really exhilarating for me and like gets me pumping and it makes me have fun. And some people have noticed that you play really well because you're actually part of a, a rep team that did pretty well in the national tournament. Can you talk us through that, Eli? Uh, so I got into the rep team and then we had like heaps of close games. We only had one game that wasn't close and we eventually came second to another Canterbury team in the finals. Well, congratulations to you, Eli. Hoping to do one better today, I'm sure, so good luck. Nico joins us on the show today as well. Live and breathe video games, it's your thing, you love it, but the big question is, and I know it's a tough question, Nico, what is your favorite video game to play? I'm thinking Pokemon. A solid choice. And what does you love about playing Pokemon, Nico? I just like, um, the RPG, the turn based, just strategy. There you go. And that's RPG for my uh, non gamers. Let me help you out. That means role playing game, right? Am I right, Nico? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, I know something about video games. Thank you so much for sharing, Nico. Tilly joins us on the show as well. Love to get your dancing shoes on from time to time. But what kind of dancing do you do? Um, I do a lot of sort of dance. I do hip hop, jazz, contemporary and Encore Theatre, but I quit ballet about two years ago. Fair enough. Encore Theatre, what is that? That's like musical. It's like you voice things and stuff. It's very high pumped. There you go. So now you're getting pumped up, ready to take on Brain Busters, I'm sure. Yeah. Can you become a champion today, Tilly? Hopefully. We'll see. Good luck. And we have Logan joining us today on the show as well. Right into your softball, Logan. What made you get into softball? My parents played it when they were younger and I quite enjoyed it. Nice, following in the parents' footsteps, it's always fun to do. And now similar to Eli, you've been noticed a little bit, had a bit of success and you're in a rep team as well. Can you talk us through that? Uh, I'm in the Rolleston team and we're going on a tournament in January. Good stuff. Well, all the best for that tournament. Right now, though, we've got to focus on the tournament that is today. Of course, it's Brain Busters. You four are ready for the challenge. Everyone at home is ready for the challenge. So let's play Mega Memory. 10 points for a correct answer in Mega Memory. Buzz in and get it wrong, you do lose 10 points. So we're putting the pressure on early. Let's get into it. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now, what do you normally buy from a florist? Logan. Flowers. True or false, Canada is larger than Christchurch. Nico. False, up oh, true. Had to take your first answer, it was true. Which planet is closest to the sun? Eli. Mercury. Is Abel Tasman National Park in the North or South Island? Logan. South. What video game character has an arch rival called Wario? Nico. Mario. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? Eli. Neil Armstrong. True or false, wild cheetahs are found only in France. Logan. False. What is the name of the sea between New Zealand and Australia? Logan. Pacific Ocean. The Tasman Sea. Who is the Greek goddess of wisdom and warfare? Nico. Uh, Persephone? Athena. Which of these gaming consoles has sold more units, PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 5? Logan. PlayStation 2. Is the city of Napier in Hawke's Bay or Falcon's Roost? Eli. Hawke's Bay. The Super Bowl is an important game in which American sport? Eli. American football. What kind of license did Olivia Rodrigo sing about? Logan. Drivers. The name of the country Bolivia contains which female name? Logan. Olivia. 
Olivia is correct. And that is it for Mega Memory. Thank you all for taking on the first challenge. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Logan has the lead with 50 points. Eli is on 40 points. Nico has zero points. And Tilly is also on zero points. So now we move into our specialist subject rounds and seeing that Nico and Tilly both share the same score, we'll go from left to right, meaning Nico, you get to go first today. So what would you like to play? Equalizer. Thank you very much, Nico. Let's play Equalizer. Nico, please step forward. First up today, let's get straight into it. Nico, best of luck. Here is your first equation. 54 divided by 9 plus 33 equals... 59. 39. Bit of a nervous start. We'll just we'll forget about that one. Next up, the square root of 81 subtract 10 equals negative one. Correct. 233 times by three. Minus 168 equals. Um, 231. You had two digits, right? You had the three and the one, right? But needed a five in front of it. 531, the answer. All right, final one, Nico. Oh, You've no. got this. Oh, no. Mutunga. Here we go. 105 divided by 5 subtract 20 equals... 1? Oh. Is correct. Nico, well done. That was tough. And I gotta say, you were very close there. I could hear you working it out and you, were, you just missed it a couple of times there, but still a really good effort. In particular, because you went first as well, Nico. So well done. Thank you for taking on Equalizer. Nico is second equal on 40 points. And next up to take on their challenge today will be Tilly. So what are you going to play, Tilly? Blue printer. Thank you very much. Let's play blue printer. Tilly. No my how am I? Tilly, welcome up to the front, ready to take on a blue printer, but what made you choose it? Um, I feel like my memory game is pretty good considering I do dance and I pick up things really easily. That makes a lot of sense. Are you ready for it? Yes. All right, Tilly. Well, let's get into it. Here is your blue printer. Bermuda, your time starts now. Bermuda is more than a mysterious corner on a map. It's a treasure chest of adventures. Here, pink sand meets clear waters under a big blue sky. With tales as rich as the sunsets, every wave tells a story. Whether you're diving into a shipwreck or climbing up a lighthouse, Bermuda is a playground waiting to be explored. That's time, 30 seconds to put your answers in, which starts now. Halfway. 10 seconds. Five seconds left. All right, all locked in. Tilly, how do you think you went? Um, I think I went pretty good. I think it was the last one that got me a bit, 
confused. Should we start with that then? Get it out of yes, the way? Yes, please, yeah. All right, let's take a look. Cross Island, unfortunately, isn't in the right spot. But that's okay, we, didn't, we thought that one might have been wrong, so let's hope for a whole lot of green from now. And we're starting strong there with Hamilton, nice work. There's 20 points. Tucker's Town is also correct. Castle Harbour is in the right spot. And Hog Bay also in the correct spot. There you go, memorising all those dance moves, clearly helping you there, Tilly. Yeah. A great round for you, so well done. Thank you for taking on Blueprinter. Thank you. Tilly is now in first place with 80 points. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. FRKNA, Eli and Logan will take on their subjects, but of course all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. Don't slip on the Corpus Colossum or get tangled in the web tunnel and you might just win the Brain Buster. Today's players better be ready for it. Next up to take on the Weddle today will be Eli. So Eli, what have you chosen to play? I'm playing Sequencer. Thank you Eli, let's play Sequencer. Eli, step forward, please. Eli, good luck. Here is your first sequence. iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 3G, iPhone X. Sort these iPhones by their release date. Correct. Australian Capital Territory, Tasmania, Queensland. Arrange these Australian states and territories by area, largest to smallest. Incorrect, I'm afraid, Eli. Jumanji, the next level. Wana, WrestleMania 28. Place these productions in the order that Dwayne The Rock Johnson starred in them. Fan of The Rock, Eli? Not really. You think you know enough about him to get this correct? No. So this is just a big guess. I know he did WrestleMania before he was a movie star, and I don't know about, I know he did Moana, but I don't know about Jumanji when it came out. All right, well, let's have a look. Correct there, so you're definitely on the right track then about his wrestling career before he went into acting. And then you nailed the next two as well. Awesome effort there, Eli. Dame Fina Cooper, Chloe Swarbrick, Lanaya Mahuta. Arrange these New Zealanders in the order in which they were born. Seems like this might be another guess, Eli. Yep. Can you do it again? You know it! Nice work, Eli. And finally, to finish things off for Sequencer. 0 0.6 kilometers, 500 centimeters, four meters. Arrange these measurements from shortest to longest. No way you're getting that one wrong. That is correct. Another 20 points to finish off a really good round. Eli, well done. Thank you for playing Sequencer. Thank you. Eli is now in first place with 120 points. And we have just one more player remaining to take on their specialist subject round today. That player is Logan. So Logan, what are you playing today? I'm playing Identifier. Thank you, Logan. Let's play Identifier. Logan, no my hide am I?
Logan, final player taking on your specialist subject round today. How are you feeling about playing Identifier? Pretty nervous, but pretty positive at the same time. Let's see how you can do. Logan, good luck. Time to play Identifier. Identify the three particles that make up an atom. Correct, nice work, Logan. Identify the three creatures with an expected lifespan greater than 10 years. Good effort with that, Logan. Very close. Just needed bat alongside giraffe and wolf. Mars, Earth, Venus. Arrange these planets in order of their equilibrium temperature, hottest to coldest. Arrange these planets in order of their equilibrium temperature, hottest to coldest. Let's see if that's the right order for Logan. Needed to swap around Earth and Mars to get the points there, I'm afraid, Logan. And finally, identify three flowers that we eat as vegetables. Broccoli was right, cauliflower, a little bit of a clue in the name I guess with that one, and then also artichoke needed to finish that one off. So a little bit unlucky with that one, Logan, but still some good points. I think it just goes to show how important mega memory is as well. So well done on that, and thank you for taking on the challenge. Eli's on top with 120 points, Tilly has 80 points, Logan is on 70 points, and Nico has 40 points. So unfortunately, it does mean we have to eliminate our first player today on Brain Busters. And I'm sorry to say, Nico, that it is you. But you're taking home a $50 bank account. I've got a feeling I know what you're gonna do with the money, but tell us anyway, Nico. I'm probably gonna buy some new video games. Well, enjoy the video games, Nico, and thank you for being such a great player today on Brain Busters. Thanks for having me. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Three contestants remain, but only two can take on the Brain Buster. I can't wait to see what happens. And to help us see who's going to get there, we have the Brain Teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds, and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options are Spellbinder and the Orangatera. So, Eli, Tilly and Logan, please vote for which one you would like to play now. All votes have been cast. Let's first take a look and see what Eli would like to play. It is Spellbinder. Tilly has chosen the Orangatira. So it comes down to Logan's choice, which is Spellbinder. Thank you for your votes. Let's play Spellbinder. Buzz in and spell the word correct. You will receive 30 points. Spell it wrong though, and you lose 30 points. So let's get straight into the brain teaser now. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your first word. It is telephone. Logan. T-E-L-E-P-H-O-N-E. -E -E. That is correct. Logan needing those points and gets them. Well done. Next word, foyer. Logan. F O I Y A. F O Y E R. Have to take the points away. Sorry, Logan. And finally, please spell fountain. Logan again. F O U N T A I N is correct. Well done, Logan. And that is it for the brain teaser. So let's have a look at the final leaderboard. 
Eli has 120 points. After a bit of a roller coaster, Logan now has 100 points and Tilly has 80 points. So Tilly, unfortunately, it does mean you have been eliminated from Brain Busters. A $75 bank account is yours. What do you plan for that money? Um, save and go shopping with it. Enjoy the shopping spree and enjoy that money down the line when you save it up as well. Thank you. Thank you for playing Brain Busters. And congratulations to Eli and Logan. For them, it's on to the Brain Buster. It's time for the battle to begin. You ready to do this, team? Three, two, one. Cut a few It's a battle of the sporting codes as Logan takes on Eli here on the ultimate obstacle course. Who's coming away with the dub? Let's find out. Both boys out of their harnesses down the neurotransmitter and making their way across the molecule steps. Wow, Logan was moving quick. He's taking an early lead as both boys now head through the Corpus Colossum. Well, Logan had no hands through there. Onto the hippocampus now entering their codes. Boom, down goes Logan's wall. Bam, down goes Eli's. It's a race off the prowl to load. Who gets to the top first? Is it Logan? Is it Eli? Logan's there first. He's now in the web tunnel. Heading towards the frontal lobe, but Eli's there too. Don't count him out yet, Barno. Logan with the lead as he makes his way across the frontal lobe first. Heading towards the DNA ladder. Eli on the frontal lobe now too. Logan at the DNA ladder first. He gets to work on the switches, but here comes Eli. Can Eli make that comeback and get that green light? Or Logan take the victory? Let's find out. Good work, you two. Keep it up. And look at that. It's a green light for Eli. Well done, buddy. Green light for Eli, making his way now to the Basil Ganglia. What a comeback by Eli. Congratulations, buddy. You're our Brain Buster champion. Good stuff, Logan. Man, dude, you were awesome out there today. And that is our race complete. Well done, Logan and Eli. Logan, I'll get you to step across this way, my friends. And let's have a quick chat to you. It looked like you almost had it, and then just out of nowhere, Eli, just getting the DNA ladder before you. What happened up there? I got stuck on the code. Just couldn't quite get it, but still a really good race, a fast race. Logan, a really good effort today. Second place, a $100 bank account. What are you going to do with it? Save up to get a new computer. Brilliant. Well, enjoy. It is all yours, Logan. Thank you so much for taking on Brain Busters today. Yeah. Eli, congratulations. A really good effort from you. Logan had the lead there, but it didn't stop here. What was going through your head? Um, I was just... Thinking, oh, he's in front, I've got to do my code right because I had a strategy to do the DNA ladder and I, it worked out for me. Apparently it did, well done. And then you absolutely threw yourself through the last part of the obstacle course there as well. Wasn't worried about injuries or anything, you are focused on that buzzer and you have successfully come out on top. So well done, Eli. There's one thing left to do, it's taking on amygdala. Eli. Welcome to Amygdala. Congratulations on being today's Brain Buster Champion. This is what you play for. And now you have the chance to walk away with $220. A little bit nervous at the start of the show, but how are yep. you feeling now when it's just you and potentially a whole lot of money? Exciting. It's, I've really enjoyed being here all day. Day after school, <laughs> get to go on the Brain Buster, so. Yeah, good day. So regardless, it's a win. Yep. Eli, best of luck. It is time to play amygdala. Question one. Worldwide, do more people speak Icelandic or Mandarin Chinese? Mandarin Chinese. Correct. What TV cartoon features Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael and Leonardo? Ninja Turtles. Correct, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How many hydrogen atoms are in one molecule of water? Ah, uh, two hydrogen atoms. Final answer? Yes. Locked in? Yes. It is two. Well done, Eli. Good work. In 2016, did Rio de Janeiro hosts the Summer or Winter Olympics? The Summer Olympics. Correct. What is the name of Moana's home island? 
Motunui. My name is Moan of Motunui. Motunui is correct. What is the name of the process by which plants produce their own food? It's not photosynthesis, that's where they get rays from the sun. Why is it not photosynthesis? Because I'm pretty sure that's where they get their rays from the sun and then they're like, that's where they get nutrients or something. Nutrients but, sounds like food oh, to me. No. Not nutrients, they just get energy from the sun or something, but I don't know anything I saw, I'll just go with photosynthesis. You sure? Final answer? Yes. Locked in. And it is photosynthesis. The New Zealand Breakers play what sport in Australia's NBL? Basketball. Bit of a basketball fan yourself? Yep, I've been to a break, the Breakers game, I think it was on Friday, last week or the week before that. But I definitely went to one of them, so it's, it's definitely basketball. Locking it in? Yep. Basketball locked in? Correct. Washington DC is the capital of which country? The United States of America. Big smile on your face there. Think you got it? Yep, definitely. Final answer then? Yes. United States of America? Yep. Locked in? Mm-hmm. And it's right. Eli, we're on a roll. Kiwi fruit are named after which bird? The kiwi. Is it a trick question? I don't think so. You don't think so? Happy to lock it in. Yes. Kiwi, locked in. <sighs> Eli, Eli, Eli. Becomes the final question. No longer are you playing for $220. Eli, you get this question correct, we go home with four hundred and forty dollars. Okay. How you feeling? A bit nervous, but my body feels really calm right now, so I don't know. You ready for it? Mm-hmm. Calm, cool, collected. You said you relax. Let's get into it. Here is your final question. Four hundred and forty dollars, Eli. True or false? Colonel Sanders wrote, chicken licking. False. Wait. Yes, false. Do you want to lock in false as your final answer? Yes, I do. Folks, it's locked in and it's correct. Eli, it says $220, but you know what that means. You got a perfect score, so let's change it up. And Eli, you're walking away with $440. Eli, congratulations. A perfect score, that cherry on top we talked about. What are you gonna do with the money? Um, as I said earlier, I'm gonna invest it into Sony. And I'm also going to buy a corn dog on the way home. <laughs> I like it. Well, all the best with your investments. Maybe you should, you know, make, maybe spread the risk a little bit. You don't want the eggs in, in one basket. Yeah. Not financial advice, though, for anyone at home as well. But I really like the idea about the corn dog as well. Anyway, it's a lot of money. $440. It's all yours. Eli, tell me, what have you enjoyed about being here on Brain Busters, my friend? Honestly, everything. I've met some cool kids. The Brain Buster itself was really, really fun. Amygdala was good as well. And yeah, just the experience was top tier for me. Well, that is great to hear, Eli. It has been fantastic having you a part of the show as well. Thanks for being a champion of Brain Busters. You're walking away with $440. Do you have the smarts, the strength, and the stamina to join us here on Brain Busters? Head online and take the test. Tēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.